Hello everybody and welcome to this video. This is going to be covering the new Linksys Atlas Max 6E Tri-Band Mesh Wi-Fi. Now this is the latest and greatest from the line of Linksys in their Mesh Wi-Fi. Uh, provides up to 8.4 gigabits per second and will cover up to 9,000 square feet. This particular model is the three pack and this will be replacing the tri-band Wi-Fi 5 version that I have here. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump right into it and begin unboxing. All right, let's pop this box open here. Cutting right into the box. There we go. Now you're seeing this at the same time that I'm seeing this for the very first time. Let's go ahead and get the plastic off. All right. And this box uh, I see. like we just pull these out let's see if we can zoom out just a little bit here inside that box is two of these I'm guessing that's it because there's nothing else in the box all right well let's uh just open up one of these let's see Here we go. All right. So inside the box here, as you can see, we have a setup guide. Setting up your new Wi-Fi and are you adding to your Linksys mesh network? So inside this box, we have, looks like a, you know, just your standard paperwork here you know uh, your regulatory and warranty information set that here looks like we've got three power cables those are kind of you know decent size uh, power cables and wow this is much bigger than the previous year's model. And yeah, so just to compare, let's move that out of the way. This is the previous model compared to the new model. Big difference. big difference so as you can see the previous version is a lot smaller and weighs a lot less than the new version so definitely definitely a difference so put that out of the way and that's what we're replacing today. Okay, let's go ahead and open up this second box. Now, based on the weight of this second box, I bet there's two of them in here. And there are. There's one of them. And as you can see on the, the back of it, we got a USB port for LAN ports. And that's probably going to be the um, Internet Ethernet port. Uh, and power port and they all have the same interface at the bottom there's two and the third one same deal all 
So that is everything included in the box right there. So you got your three access points that create your mesh Wi-Fi system, three power cables, a quick little setup guide telling you what the lights mean if you need help, and your warranty and regulatory information right here. So that's it right there. Okay, now that we got everything unboxed, we need to set it up. So to do so, we are going to download the Linksys app. So let me move my camera into a position where you can see the app, and here we go. Now, already in my Linksys app, you'll see that I already have a couple of setups in here. Okay, so... What I have done here, what I've done here is I have downloaded the Linksys Velop app and now I am going into the app and I'm going to tell it that I want to set up a new network. So it's going to ask me what type of network are you setting up. Of course I'm going to say Velop. And now it says use a power source near your modem or source of internet. So I'm going to go take this and plug this first one up to my internet. I'll be right back. All right, it says here, plug in a node. Uh, use a power source near your modem or source of internet. I've done that, I'm gonna click next. Uh, place out in the open. Your node will get the best signal if you place it out in the open on a table or a shelf of some kind and you kind of see that in the picture here. I'm gonna click next. Uh, avoid hiding inside or behind furniture. It's just kind of giving you the whole rundown. Uh, and then you click the button that says it's in the open. So I'm going to click on it. It says connect your node to your modem or source of internet, which I have done that. So I'm going to say it's connected. And now it's going to wake up your node. Make sure that your node is plugged in and that your phone is near it. And it's actually right in the next room. So it says this could take up to three minutes, but feel free to walk away. But usually this happens pretty quickly. We're gonna make sure, and there it is. Uh, is the node that's connected to your modem blinking purple? Let's go check. And it says, is the node that's connected to your modem blinking purple? Yes, it's blinking purple. Now it's checking for the internet. It says this could take up to one minute. Don't think it should take that long. Linking to your account, this could take up to a minute. Probably shouldn't take that long. What this is doing right now is it's linking it to my Linksys account. And now I'm gonna enter your Wi-Fi name. I'm gonna give it a name. I'm gonna call it ITG. I'm going to call it ITG Mesh. Come on. ITG Mesh 6. And I'm going to give it a password. Okay, I've entered that password. And now it is configuring my Velop network. This could take up to a minute. Now, since this is the only one that's hooked up right now, uh, it should actually happen fairly quickly. It's just setting some default settings. Um, and there you see, Velop Network is created. And where is this node? I'm going to put it in my office. Say next. And success. That's all there is to it. So, I click next. Now I have the option of adding a node or saying that's it for now. We'll go ahead and add a node and I'll actually do it in here so that you could see what this looks like. Okay, now real simply, we are going to just plug this right here in the back, which is a better design than the previous model because the previous model went underneath and would actually cause the cables to really bend at the end. That's, that's the previous model and you can see how it would cause it to bend because of the way 
it was configured to slide right up under here and this was a little flap that you'd slide it into and it would sit inside there and it'd be in that flap and it would bend. Uh, never really had a problem though because it looks like they reinforced that a good bit but you just don't ever know. So as you can see right here this is the flashing light and you know, inside of the setup guide, it's going to tell you, you know, what do the lights mean? If it's blinking blue, it's starting up. When it's ready for setup, it'll be purple, like what you see right there. When the setup is in progress, the purple light will be blinking. When it's connected, it'll be blue. Now, this is considered a child because the main one is connected to the Internet in the other room. So if there's a weak connection, you'll see that it'll be yellow. When it's disconnected, it will be blinking red. And if it gets no internet from the modem. So if it detects from the other access point that there is no uh, signal from the internet, then this will just be a solid red indicating that it has no internet, but it is connected to the other uh, access point. So. Uh, actually, it's real helpful. Uh, these lights, they're, they're really good. Um, you know, I've actually used them for troubleshooting steps. You know, I can easily look at a node and say, okay, it's solid red, so that must mean my internet's down. And I'll go into the other room, and sure enough, my internet will be down because my service provider is doing something. So anyway, I'm going to go back into my... Uh, ITG Mesh 6 setup and uh, my phone timed out so it timed out so it's sitting here at the screen saying it's configuring my network so I'll just wait for that and the light will stay purple until we begin the setup on it okay so now we're back in the app and there is a firmware upgrade available I'm going to update now and then we will come back. You can see there's probably been a few updates going from 1.09 to 1.11. And so that's going to download and happen. And so while that's downloading, uh, I'll come back once it's complete. Okay, so we're going to finish setting up this second node here. Okay. So here we're going to add another node to our network. I want to extend my Wi-Fi with a new child node. And it's giving you an idea of how you should place it. I'm going to go ahead and hit next. We have plugged it in. We've got the power light on it. Waking up the node, of course, it's already fully woke. Now you can see it's now flashing purple back there. I think you can see that. Yep. And it's asking, is the node that you're adding blinking purple? Yes, it's blinking purple. And now it's going to simply add this node to our system. Now, of course, in our case here, it's going to notice that they're not on the same firmware. And it's going to tell us that we're going to have to upgrade our firmware is perfectly fine. Feel free to walk away, but leave your phone near the node you're setting up. Now when I set up the first node, I mean you don't have to be side by side like what we're doing right here. In fact, when I set up the first one, the node was in the other room connected to the firewall. And I was in here demoing this for you guys. So as you can see, we're still setting up here. And the light is still flashing. So we're just waiting on this node to restart. Just waiting on the firmware to finish updating. It's just uh, waiting on it to reboot. In fact, we're just sitting there watching the lights. As you can see, if it's flashing red or blinking red, it is disconnected. Um, and so it's just waiting to get the firmware updated and then reconnect. And there you see it just turned blue. And now blue means it is connected. It's no longer starting up because it's not blinking. It is connected. And 
We're just uh, waiting on it to come up. Now it's uh, it's blinking red, went back to blue. And the firmware is almost up to date. And there it is, your Wi-Fi is ready. Go back to the dashboard, getting your router settings. And there you have it. You can see my devices that are connected. Now the one thing that I do with the Linksys uh, mesh is that I don't just have one network because not all your devices will connect to the five gigahertz or the six gigahertz range in this particular model. So what I've done is I've gone in through the computer. I connected to the main router's IP address, 192.168.1.1. Uh, I logged in and I went to Wi-Fi settings and I've actually uh, set it up to where each network has its own Wi-Fi name. And the reason I do that is so that I can choose what I want my devices to connect to. So for my Amazon Alexa device, they don't do well on the five gigahertz networks. I have one of the original uh, Alexa devices. I put it on the ITG Wi-Fi uh, 2.4 network, whereas on my laptop or on my iPhones, they'll connect to the five gigahertz or the six gigahertz uh, for my devices that have that, my Mac, all of those, they connect to the higher end networks because you're gonna get a lot faster speeds. So that is one thing that I do, but all of those networks carry over to each child node, which makes it extremely useful when you need to be on, uh, make sure that you're on the faster network. Now, the nice thing about this setup is that these have really powerful antennas in them. They're going to reach out really far. Uh, this will cover my entire house. My entire house is about 3,000 square feet when you include the garage and everything. So being able to connect to a five gigahertz or even a six gigahertz network is probably not gonna be that big of a deal. It wasn't with my other one. I'll have to test the six gigahertz network to see how well it connects. Uh, but the five gigahertz, not a problem. I could be in my front yard, I could be in my backyard based on where these things were placed and I have no problems connecting out to the internet. Um, the one thing that I would like to test with this setup is to see, can I also add one of my original uh, Linksys Vela version one Wi-Fi devices to this network and will it mix with the Wi-Fi 6? I don't expect it to do that, but I'm gonna to try to do that, and if I can get it connected, then I will show that in another video, that it's connected and working. Uh, but yeah, that this is it. This is the Linksys Wi-Fi 6E Tri-Band Mesh Network. Uh, it's it's gonna be amazing. As I said uh, previously, uh, the Linksys Velop has been the only Wi-Fi solution that has been able to keep up with me over the years. I've had my original Linksys Velop uh, version one almost since it came out back in 2018 so I've had it for three years and it has stood the test of time as I am a definite power user for the internet uh, it has been able to keep up with me and keep the speeds whereas I've had issues with drop-offs on the Netgear Orbi and they may have gotten better I also had issues with Eero that it would slow down after a while and then I would end up having to restart the device um, and when I got the Linksys Velop, they just stayed strong all the time and no issues. So that's why I kind of kept in that line. And when these became on sale today at Best Buy, uh, I picked it up. It was $799 for all three in the box, which was funny because the two satellite version was $899 and the three was on sale. Uh, it said it was uh, $400 off, I believe, from $1199 down to $799. So I picked it up and... Uh, yeah, maybe I'll do a video, another video in about uh, a couple of weeks or uh, before the end of the year uh, and see uh, how well it's still working and give you an update video. But that's it. That is my unboxing video today. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate you. Give it a thumbs up if you like the video and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Make it a great day.